In the conservation studio at Knoll, a dramatic transformation has begun. John Constable's Waterloo Bridge six-footer is starting to show its true colours. I've been working on this for a few weeks now and it's been a, a very satisfying clean. There's, a, you know, quite a lot of vibrant colours coming through. Sarah's found some areas of the painting much easier to clean than others. The sky has gone relatively quickly, I would say, and, and I guess that's where you're getting the biggest visual difference, but it's, it's actually this lower part of the painting which is taking the longest. The pigments and the paints in these red and yellowish areas are proving the most sensitive. The problem is that different paints can react differently to solvents. In Constable's time, most paints were handmade using natural ingredients as pigments, such as plant roots and mineral ores, ground up and combined in an oil-based medium. Bright colours are often the most sensitive. In some spots, Sarah may even have to leave some of the varnish. It's a case of they're possibly too close in solubility to the varnish layer. Um, for it to be safe to clean. So really it's a case of thinning that varnish layer but not going right down to the paint layer. But her patience is being rewarded. I'm really getting a sense of a work that was built up a lot over really quite a long time. There's many, many layers of paint here and, and scumbles and, uh, you know, brush strokes over brush strokes over brush strokes. I can't really say at this stage what that says about whether this might be a work intended for exhibition or whether it's indeed one of the full-size sketches. But I am getting a, a sense of a painting that the artist really worked with and stepped back and thought about and, and, and fought with to get the effects that he was trying to get. In a few weeks' time, Sarah will present her work to two of the country's top art historians. And together, they will try to solve its mystery. <laughs>